So I want to take a minute and talk about hydrostatic tests. Yes. So we talked previously about having an engineer look at the property prior to having a contractor look at it. Having an engineer look, give their report, have the contractor bid based on the engineer, mm -hmm. do the work, and then do what's called a hydrostatic test. Mm -hmm. So explain to me, I know what a hydrostatic test mm -hmm. is because I've had handfuls of them done myself, but explain to our viewers today why that is so important and what it is, because this might be the first time they're even hearing these, these words. The, the most neglected system in the house is the plumbing. The poor plumbing system doesn't get any attention. <laughs> Which could be the most costly and yeah. damaging they if not be. addressed. Uh, plumbing leaks almost always happen on the drain side. So you don't see that in your meter. If you go out and look at the meter, they're not leaking on the supply side. They're leaking on the drain side. Ah, uh, yes. Almost always. And so they can go for years, and you don't know. Um, and uh, again, we talked about when soils get wet, they expand. Well, if there's a leak in a local area, like around the bathroom or the washing machine, where that water is getting into the soils, it can it can heave a little area uh, around the foundation um, from a plumbing leak. And so a, a hydrostatic leak test, I call it the yep, nope test. I like that term. <laughs> okay. It's either yep, it's leaking, or nope, it's not. Right? Uh, all they do, they'll, in the plumbing pipes, they'll, they'll block off the drain and they'll fill it up with water. They'll drink a beer for 10 minutes, and if the level in the pipe goes down, it's leaking. If it stays up, it's not leaking. It's, it's holding yep, water. It's either yep or no. Uh -huh. right? Exactly. And these are very important after having foundation That's work done, because if they're raising a side of the home or the whole home, and the plumbing has broken at some point, somebody doesn't want to have their foundation fixed, and then all of a sudden have a problem with their plumbing leaking. Anything 1980s or older, you really should have a hydrostatic leak test done every few years. Okay, that's right? good to know. Because they leak, and, and they cause a lot of problems. And why is that when you mention 1980s? Thing? Yeah, there was a shift. 1980s and older, we used primarily cast iron drain pipe. And cast iron drain pipe rusts. And, and when it rusts, it leaks. And, and they don't just leak in one little area. They corrode the entire length of the pipe. And that's a very costly repair, you know. Right. I mean, it, it's easy to fix a little leak at a local spot, but they don't, that's not how they fail. They fail along the whole length. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep those monitored. After 1980, we went mostly PVC and PVC doesn't corrode. Hydrostatic tests, in my experience, can run from 250 to $500. Is that what you've seen yep, with, with right. professional plumbers? If, if it's a yep, then you might need the it's leaking right here test, the isolation test, okay? Okay. So the yep, nope test is just, if it's nope, then great. If it is, then we've got to find it, and you need an isolation test. And, and sometimes that can be a little more expensive because different techniques, they've, they've got to find where the, it is leaking. Now, right. sometimes, as an engineer, when I take my elevation survey, if, it's, if there's a high spot right there around that bathroom, then I can pretty much tell you it's leaking right there because that's where the water's coming out. Exactly. You know, that so makes I, sense. I can kind of see it in the elevations sometimes. Um, okay. But... Overall, I would much rather people spend money to fix a plumbing leak than foundation repair. Awesome. How do you feel about drip lines around a foundation? Drip lines are great. They, it goes back to the overprescribed watering your foundation. If, if you do a drip line and you kind of don't know what you're doing, you really could be causing a, a worse problem. You could be watering an area that's already too wet and making that upheaval worse. And so drip lines are great, but 
you really you need an elevation survey first and you need to know where to zone those where to zone it okay yeah okay good great information and one more thing about soaker hoses they're great um, and, and you remember the moist and delicious test mm -hmm. if you have an area that's hard nasty and dry you know put some water on those now I, I don't recommend those black soaker hose that people always get from Home Depot one is they only last about a year. They get damaged by landscapers. They dry out in the sun. Uh, and, and then people don't use them. They just throw them away. Really a much better thing that's really not that much more expensive is that plastic rainbird pipe. It's at Home okay. Depot. Okay. They have little nozzles about every 16 inches and it's a hard plastic pipe. And and you just bury that into the soils about four to six inches. You just take a shovel, mm -hmm. you know, like a shovel trench, mm -hmm. and push that plastic pipe into the soils around between the tree and the foundation. Maybe loop it around a couple of times. Okay. Uh, and then get a timer from Home Depot and set it, you know, an hour a day or whatever. Um, but that bla that plastic rainbird pipe will last five or six years, and it doesn't get damaged, and it and it more effectively waters the soil. Aha! Yeah. Okay, that's a great tip. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to view other helpful tips, click here. If you would like to view a neighborhood we specialize in, click here. And to subscribe and stay updated, click on the circle below. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.